seven of nine on the show. Seven of nine? She used to be a Borg. Borg nine? Ernest Borg nine wearing a Broadworth hat? Oh, hey, hey, great picture. It's like an instant party. Wow. Hey, oh, Keenan sits a spell with Dave Foley on Friday's program. The appearance of the news radio star will officially end Keenan's streak of interviewing buxom young actresses at 78. Although, if you've ever seen Foley up close, he is built like a brick house. Well, we have time for one more clip, and it's guaranteed to cheese you off. I'd like you to meet Richard, the man for whom marriage counseling was invented. What is this about taking spark plugs out of the car, That's okay? Cute. What about the coffee cup in the shower? What about padlocking her in the house for two days? Hello, I'm Suzanne Senna with an entertainment news break. Fred Skelton has died. The comedian, known for characters such as Freddy the Freeloader, was 84. The Queen of Daytime Talk gets a King World's ransom to continue her show. Sources say Oprah Winfrey will get a $130 million cash advance from her distribution company. And Kitty Kelly's latest book makes the royals blue. Her tell-all hits stores less than three weeks after Princess Diana's death. For the latest in entertainment news, check out E! News Daily at 6 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. by Glade. The Comfort Collection. Sofas and chairs stuffed with so much comfort. You may want to settle in till next spring. A comfortably priced Comfort Collection. One more reason everyone's at home with Ethan Allen. Hurry in. Our discovery sale is on now. Can we talk about... Can we talk about what? It looks like a family thing going on in there. Fox 2000 Pictures presents a film. I was fired from my job today. What are you doing home in the middle of the afternoon? Don't tell her. That will change the way you look at the people we call family. It seems that everything I love, I lose. You do what you have to do to stay strong. Soul Food. Rated R. Come and get it September 26th. On Mondays, the Wilsons always wore blue. On Tuesdays, they always played Pinochle. And on Thursdays, they always ate Chef Boyardee ravioli. Until one Thursday, a can of Superiori ravioli accidentally dropped into Mrs. Wilson's bag. Mm. Superiori had a redder sauce, firmer pasta, and plumper ravioli. In fact, it's the taste people prefer. They love the taste so much, they now eat it on Fridays wearing checks. Superiori from Franco-American. It's not what you're used to. It's better. Now available in family size. Want to see something totally breakthrough? Breakthrough to Hydrians, the first water-based cream color from Clairol. Who knew that water could deliver color like this? Clairol Hydrians uses the power of water, so it deeply saturates every strand with radiant, moisture-rich color. That won't wash away. Taking permanent color to a superior level of gentleness. I never knew it could be so gentle. It actually feels healthier. Breakthrough to an incredible kind of color. First there was hair color, now there's Hydrians. One of my favorite channels, E. You know what? Matter of fact, one of my favorite letters in the alphabet. Fifth letter of vowel. I love E. Keep watching. <laughs> We're hanging out at Talk Soup. I'm John Henson, and no, I will not play Free Bird. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> Help! My husband is too controlling. Uh, that was what Sally's guests were saying the other day. Lahoma wants her husband, Richard, to stop locking her in the house for a few days at a time. She would also rather that he didn't pull the spark plugs out of her car to prevent her from leaving him. And it would be nice if she didn't have to serve him coffee while he took his hour-long daily shower. Yeah, it would be nice. But this isn't a fairy tale. This is talk soup. Right, Sally? What is this about taking spark plugs out of the car, That's okay? Crazy. What about the coffee cup in the shower? What about padlocking her in the house for two days? What is this craziness that you... Look, 
she's told us these things, and this is really a problem. What are you doing with the coffee cup in the shower? What is that bit? What do you mean, he'll coffee cup it. in the shower? He'll hold it outside the shower why, when why it's empty. Why do you? Well, I don't want to get out of the shower and go get another cup of coffee. Oh, do you understand? And she doesn't like it, put the coffee you pot in the bathroom. Do you hold her coffee cup? You are brutal. Yeah, and I don't know why you even got sir. married. What do you want a woman for? Tell the truth. Companionship. Because you don't want companionship. Raise my family. You can get a dog the way you treat her. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering, Richard's shirt contains the popular catchphrase, everyone is entitled to my opinion. Buy it wherever I'm with stupid t-shirts are sold. Friday, Sally's guests complain about being teased because of the way they look. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the sorry for myself. Well, Sally's got the perfect prescription and it's spelled M-A-K-E-O-V-E-R. Wee! Tomorrow on Talk Soup, one of these men does not have a penis. Can you guess which one? You killed his pet? I did not kill it. I didn't know it was in the chair. <laughs> Underneath the thing, okay? Time for me to clear out of here so they can start preparing for Cometco. It's a time-consuming process involving saltpeter and lye. Maybe that's why news never has their own audience show. Adios, friends. Eight down, one to go. Earl Z was being stalked by a man named Ronnie. Instead of getting a restraining order, changing his number, or moving to another city, he skipped options A, B, and C and went all the way to Z. Earl Z. That's right, kids. He cut off his manhood with garden shears. Oh. oh. Aside from his most precious organ, Earl lost another prized possession. Here he is with a stalker telling Jerry Springer all about it. Have you two been lovers? No. Yes, we were. <laughs> I've let you. It sure the hell wasn't roommates. I wasn't sleeping on a couch. I've let you stay at my house. I've let you stay in my campers when you get thrown out with your family. Because uh -huh, your family right, don't want right, nothing to do with uh -huh, you. Right. The reason Did I you, you ever you have sex together? No, we have not. Nah. You've never had sex How together. How can you sit there and because lie? Because we have. How the hell five have years? Lie? Five years. You never touched me. You put me to live in hell in five so years. So have time. you. You've cost me property damage. You've killed my pet. You right. what? <laughs> that was an accident. Actually, you're in my house slamming my furniture around. You killed my cat. Because you were beating on me, Earl, because you I was drunk. You I'm beating on you when you turn my house well, Hold up. on, I want to get back to the pet. <laughs> you killed his pet? I did not kill it. I didn't know it was in the chair. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Ronnie sound exactly like Richard Simmons? Because you were beating on me, Earl, because God, I was drunk. It's exactly Richard Simmons. I'm telling you, the guy will have you sever into the oldies. That's his whole gig. He's got a line of videos out now. Look into it. Monday, Jerry's show will be chock full of surprises. Jessica will tell her boyfriend that not only is she a topless dancer, but she works as a call girl. And get this, she has a lesbian lover. <laughs> it's everything you want from Springer and more. Tomorrow on Talk Soup, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's got the goofiest mug of all? What you doing, some hot? Come on, guys, still doing it. <laughs> That's for your tongue. Okay. It is. Well, that about wraps up this edition of Talk Soup. See you tomorrow for the big live audience show. So long, college grads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.